Right now, a campaign controversy lands a local candidate in the hot seat. It's all because of what he said about the Puerto Ricans who evacuated to Florida after Hurricane Maria. News 6's Eric Sandoval joins us in studio with the video and response from Republican John Ward. Eric? Yeah, Matt, Lisa, first we want to make things absolutely clear. The video that shows Ward making these comments was actually released by one of his Republican competitors online. Both these men are running for the U.S. House. Both were speaking to a group of voters in Mount Dora. Tonight, Ward's camp says he stands by his comments. The video shows Republican John Ward answering a question from a voter. How he would respond to Puerto Ricans living in Florida who say the U.S. hasn't done enough to help after Hurricane Maria. First of all, I don't think they should be allowed to register to vote. The idea that they can come, come to the mainland United States, I, I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but I think we should be thinking about it in terms of, of getting them back home. And, and, and providing the capital and resources to rebuild Puerto Rico, which is, I honestly think is, is where they belong. Ward's comments on April 23rd drew quick response from a Puerto Rican woman in the audience. For you to tell me to come here and not be able to vote as an American citizen, we have to talk. Ward's comments were the reason Republican State Representative Bob Cortez says he endorsed Ward's competitor. The Puerto Rican lawmaker called Ward's comments an outrage. Tonight, Ward told News 6, I stand by what I said. I do not believe the Democrat Party should be able to take advantage of Puerto Rican evacuees fleeing a natural disaster here on a temporary basis. Now, Ward said he also wishes Cortez would have contacted him first so that they could talk things out. Voters will decide which Republicans and which Democrats will make it to the general election in this race in the primary election, and that is scheduled for August 28th.